good design needs to fulfill its purpose and it should be obvious how you're going to use it. And the other aspect is the emotional side of it. It appeals to you and you really like it. It takes a lot of great minds to come up with something like Vera. The first question that we asked ourselves was who do we actually design this vehicle for when there is no cab and no driver in the picture anymore. And what we figured out was there will still be human interaction around and we are actually designing for a greater context, which is the society. So Vera will work with people and for people. When you are working with an idea that's never been done, it's always scary in the beginning. Vera is a very high-tech product, but what does all this technology mean to the people out on the streets? One strength that designers have is to give the technology a meaning, a story. We don't do the technology for its technological sake. Having that in mind, we really try to integrate all this fine technology to the design of the vehicle. The dark parts are representing the technical side of Vera. And it starts with the brain over here. This is where the intelligence lies. This area is the most important part on the vehicle. Therefore, we decided to put the iron mark and the slash on top of it. The light surfaces are representing the human side of the vehicle. We kept it rather soft and simple, so it feels approachable and not too heavy on the road. Look at the headlamps over here. We came up with this great idea of combining the graphics with the light, so the light appears to shine through the body and create this iconic V-lights. The side surfaces, we kept it rather simple and soft, but we've used some scallops to highlight the backbone. This surface continues to the front and creates these fenders. It appears like a shoulder and giving some confidence to the vehicle. It gives us that trust feeling that it's able to pull those tones behind it. The rear end of Vera is very iconic and we wanted to create something recognizable instantly. The biggest challenge is to work on an idea that's never been done before. You know that what you're gonna create would be the first one and would be looked at. I've seen so many people taking selfies with Vera. To me, that means that we actually managed to give her a soul. It just feels that they acknowledge Vera almost as a person. Vera is a transport solution that builds on connected electric and autonomous transport and uh, is monitored by a control tower in a repetitive flow, relatively short distances. Now we're presenting a collaboration together with a strong ferry and logistics company, GFGS. The aim of the collaboration is to install an autonomous transport solution in an ideal setting together with a strong uh, partner and uh, in, a, in able to grow this solution further with new customers. The transport assignment as such is from a logistics center in a relatively short distance to a port terminal going through public roads, uh, roundabouts and, uh, and a gate. Vera will transport containers from a logistics center on a relatively short repetitive route uh, going back and forth, uh, monitored by a control tower. At this point we have put the speed limit on Vera of 40 km per hour or the several Veras that will, will operate on the route. Still we are in an industrial area, so the complexity uh, will be less than in an urban area, of course. But the complexity consists of a roundabout, a public road, there is a gate to pass and so on. Uh, 
safety is a core, uh, core value to Volvo trucks, so we will take the necessary precautions in order to assure safety, both when it comes to the vehicle as such, but also the infrastructural changes that might be necessary and installing a control tower to monitor the system. I think there are many values that could be enabled here, uh, same as in a manufacturing facility with productivity, uh, repeated uh, delivery precision and safety. It's an important step for Volvo Trucks transforming into the new age of digital and we are seeing this as a very good collaboration together with DFDS that shares our values on this journey. I think transport industry has many challenges and we are presenting now one new solution that could be a complement and that could help society grow in a sustainable way. For society we think this is a more sustainable solution for these specific applications which can enable a more quieter and cleaner uh, transport. It's still early days. Uh, we are implementing a solution together with our strong collaboration partner. And uh, when we can have taken the necessary precautions on safety, we will start to operate. The future for truck drivers is still bright. These are solutions that will be implemented in specific predefined repetitive routes and that will in turn drive productivity and when productivity rises, there is a big need for other transport to connect to that solution as well and hey we need truck drivers for a long time.
Vera is part of a larger system and has the potential to optimise transports in highly repetitive, short-distance transport flows with large volumes of goods, such as ports, factory areas and logistic megacentres, offering better delivery precision and flexibility. The autonomous electric vehicles operate together in a network and are connected through a cloud-based service and management centre. We want to make it easier for clients and partners to run their business. We are now presenting a highly effective system for moving goods 24-7 as a complement to what's available today. The pace of society and increasing global trade is placing high demands on efficient and sustainable transport solutions. E-commerce is growing fast and we have a widespread shortage of truck drivers. Autonomous, electric and safer vehicles have a great role to play. Our autonomous solutions open up for new possibilities. It's exciting to know that the full potential of the transport industry is yet to be seen.